Toyota, the big giant in the automotive industry, has long championed hybrid technology. Fast forward to today, and things are looking a little different. The electric car revolution has hit a few bumps in the road, and some whispers are starting to sound awful, like Toyota saying, I told you so. Now, some experts are re-evaluating the limitations of EVs, particularly range anxiety and charging infrastructure concerns. So what happened? Did electric vehicles turn out to be all hype and no horsepower? Was Toyota simply cautious, or did they foresee challenges others overlooked? Let's explore the strategic thinking behind Toyota's focus on hybrids and compare it to the current state of the EV market. Be with us until the end of the video and hit that red subscribe button first. Let's discuss six major reasons behind Toyota's I told you so moment. Number six, the US government flipped things upside down. About a year back, the EPA came out swinging with this wild idea. They wanted 67% of all new cars to be electric by 2032. Sounds pretty ambitious, right? Well, not everyone was on board. American car companies, which had already poured a ton of cash into electric vehicles and took a hit in the process, weren't exactly thrilled about this new plan. And don't even get me started on the UAW. They were sweating bullets and worried about massive job cuts if gas-powered cars were kicked to the curb. Plus, consumers weren't exactly jumping for joy at the thought of electric cars either. High costs, sketchy reliability, and a shortage of charging stations had many people saying, thanks, but no thanks. It was all about trying to switch gears without even knowing how to drive a stick. But the whole plan was built on a shaky foundation, which was more like trying to build a house on sand. So fast forward to last month, and the EPA rolled out a new, more grounded plan. Instead of shooting for the stars, they dialed it back a notch predicting that electric cars would only make up about a third of the new car market by 2032. This new plan also eases the pressure on car makers, letting them off the hook for hefty fines and giving them the green light to keep churning out those good old gas guzzlers. And let's not forget about heavy duty pickups, a lifeline for American automakers that can't be ignored. Number five, a new EV strategy. The electric vehicle strategy that's been making waves lately is all about putting customers and dealers first and regulators second. See, the thing is, the whole rapid electrification gig hit a snag. And one big reason is that governments around the world were pushing EVs without really stopping to ask what people wanted. Consumers were left holding the bag, expected to fork over big bucks for EVs without much to show. This push for electrification ended up jacking up the prices of good old internal combustion cars too. Automakers were scrambling to find cash for all these new EV investments, but guess what? The money needed to be rolling in from EV sales as they hoped. Recent reports even suggest that car makers are taking an average hit of around $6,000 on every EV they sell. But you know who wasn't playing that risky game? Toyota. They've been singing the same tune for a while now saying they'd rather pay green credits and fines than throw good money after bad. Toyota's EV strategy is about listening to what customers and dealers want, not just following regulations unthinkingly. And you know what? It's paying off big time. While other car makers were sweating bullets and losing billions on EV gambles, Toyota was kicking back and watching the show. Now the government's finally starting to pump the brakes on their electrification. After seeing heavyweights like Ford and GM take a tumble and delay their EV plans, they're realizing maybe they should ease up a bit, and Toyota is sitting pretty with a smug grin. Number four, Toyota's cautious moves. Toyota's bigwigs, including Akio Toyota, must be convinced that EV tech was ready for prime time. They believed it needed more time in the oven to reach its full potential, and couldn't promise zero emissions just yet. And you know what? Turns out they were onto something. EVs still have a long way to go before they can meet the average driver's needs, and they're costly too. In 2023, the average price tag was between $55,000 and $60,000. Yikes. Add high interest rates and a sluggish market to the mix, and you have a recipe for disappointment. According to the Boston Consulting Group, potential EV buyers are holding out for a car under $50,000, with at least 350 miles of range and a quick 20 minute charging time. But only one car checks all those boxes right now. The rest? Well, let's just say they leave a lot to be desired. Let's not forget about the elephant in the room, battery technology. It still needs to be cut, 
batteries struggle in cold weather, and they drain faster than your phone battery at 1% when you're binging on Netflix. Plus, issues with charging stations and overall convenience have left many EV owners feeling underwhelmed. Number three, hybrids explosive growth. Let's talk about hybrids. They're the rising stars in cars, stealing the spotlight while electric vehicles take a breather. In 2024, hybrids made up 9% of the new car market, edging out electric vehicles at 7.8%. And who's leading the charge? Toyota is the heavyweight champion of hybrid technology. Last year alone, Toyota rolled out over 3.4 million hybrids worldwide, and they've been going strong for a while, with models like the Camry and the hotly anticipated next-gen RAV4 going all in on hybrids, Toyota's doubling down on its green game plan. So, what's the deal with hybrids anyway? Well, it's pretty simple. They offer many perks that make them mighty appealing to folks looking to score a new ride. First, they're kinder to the planet, pumping out less carbon than your typical gas guzzler. That's a big win for eco-conscious consumers who want to feel good about their wheels. Hybrids also swoop in to save the day regarding range anxiety. You know that nagging feeling when driving an electric car and you're unsure if you'll make it to the next charging station? Yeah, hybrids don't have that problem. They have the best of both worlds with a gas engine to back you up when the juice runs low. Let's not forget the bottom line. Hybrids are often cheaper to buy and run than their all-electric counterparts. Plus, when it comes to reliability, Toyota's hybrids are the gold standard. You can count on them to keep chugging along without breaking the bank on repairs. Given all these perks, it's no wonder that even heavyweights like GM and Ford are hopping on the hybrid bandwagon. After taking a beating on their electric vehicle ventures, they're shifting gears and steering towards hybrids. They've seen the light and realized there's more than one way to go green. Number two, Toyota's crazy profits. Now, don't get me wrong, the whole green agenda is a noble cause, but at the end of the day, it's all about making those sweet, sweet profits. And when it comes to sustainability, automakers need strategies that work and rapid electrification? Well, let's say it's not exactly hitting the mark. Take a look at American giants like GM and Ford. They jumped headfirst into the electric vehicle game, throwing billions at new tech, only to end up with their tails between their legs. Ford took a $5 billion hit on EVs in 2023 alone, putting the brakes on production for their F-150 Lightning and delaying a cool $12 billion investment for the year. And GM? They had to push back the launch of their all-electric Silverado and Sierra trucks to 2025. Meanwhile, Toyota's over here laughing all the way to the bank, Instead of throwing cash at immature EV tech, they focused on what they do best, hybrids. And they sold 11.2 million cars last year, with hybrids leading the charge. Unlike EVs, hybrids are a goldmine for Toyota, raking in the dough and then some. Toyota's earnings for the nine months, from April to the end of 2023, hit a mind-blowing $27 billion. That's nearly double what they made during the same stretch in 2022. To put things in perspective, Tesla, yeah, the big dog in the EV world, saw its profit climb by 19% last year, totaling $15 billion. Number one, diversification is the ultimate savior. Despite its cautious stance, Toyota has never been anti-electric cars. Instead, it's been against this rigid, one-size-fits-all approach to zero emissions, which focuses solely on battery electric vehicles. Toyota's playbook is more flexible on the road to zero emissions and sustainability. It believes in offering a range of options beyond just battery electric vehicles, letting customers pick what works best for them. Akio Toyota is adamant that full electrification is a pipe dream. They're betting electric vehicles will never make up more than a third of the global market. That's why Toyota's putting its money where its mouth is, investing heavily in alternative technologies while keeping hybrids front and center. And let me tell you, Toyota's not just sitting on their hands, they're cooking up some seriously cool stuff in the lab. They've designed a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle and even developed an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen. Plus, they're tearing up the track with endurance races to test these new technologies. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode. If you enjoyed this deep dive into automotive trends and innovations, 
Hit that subscribe button for more. See you in the next video.